Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. off of the bye week, UND faced Colorado College in an important NCHC matchup to start the final stretch of the season. Friday night was a challenge for the Fighting Hawks, giving up the first goal of the game to the Tigers in the first period. The Fighting Hawks would tie it up on two separate occasions. But each time, Colorado College would respond with a goal of their own less than a minute later, taking back the lead. Christian will add it on the penalty shot, trying to tie it for UND. Comes right into the middle, makes a deep, shoots and scores! Christian will add it with the penalty shot goal, his ninth of the year, and it's a 1-1 tie. The near side cutting in his pull right to the net. He scores! Wow! What a goal by Colton Pullman cutting it off the right side and tucking it under Leclerc. His seventh of the year, and we're tied again at two. Yeah, that's uh, something we just can't be doing. Uh, we can't get too high, can't get too low, and they uh, they were more mature than us. They uh, they rebounded right away. They they were more of a team after we scored and uh, when they scored we um, we kind of shook our heads and that's something you can't be doing at this time of the season so it's uh, it's kind of disappointing but uh, gotta bounce back tomorrow. Peter Tomei took over in goal during the second period but even a stellar save on a Colorado College penalty shot would not be enough to stop the 4-2 to victory for the Tigers. North Dakota came out a lot stronger on Saturday as things got rolling when Joel Janatweenen and Shane Gersich each scored power play goals in the second period. Will add inside of the net. Gersich a one-timer misses. It. It's tucked in at the center of the net by Janatweenen. Came off the boards and Janatweenen standing there to tuck it on the short side post. Near side will add in a one-timer off a skate to Gersich. He scores! Shane Gersich finally gets one, his ninth of the year, power play goal, 2-0 UND. A quick shot from Austin Pagansky made it 3-0, less than a minute into the third period. I mean, uh, obviously we didn't play a horrible game yesterday, just not to get too low. Uh, 
when you lose and not to get too high when you win. So um, I think uh, tonight we just decided we'll play a full 60 minutes and uh, uh, the word we uh, used in the locker room was grit and I think we really had grit today. And uh, I think uh, we just have to keep that going in the next weekend. Colorado College finally got on the board during the third, but the Fighting Hawks sealed the deal with two more unanswered goals, closing out the 5-1 victory. Center shot, save, rebound, they score! Janet Tweeting gets his second of the game. His third and fourth of the year, and it's 4-1 North Dakota. On the slot, mismatch still with it, still shoots, scores! The kid's a sniper, and he gets his seventh of the year, and it's 5-1 UND. Sophomore defenseman Andrew Pesky has been a quiet contributor for the team on and off the ice for the last two seasons. Obviously high integrity, uh, hard worker, um, a guy that makes everybody else around him better. He's team first. Um, you know, Cam coming in here from junior hockey in Ontario, you know, it was a big step for him and, and you know, he's worked to get his game to where he needs it to be and, and, and constantly is improving every single day and uh, again, uh, he's a big part of our culture. He's the type of guy that you want in your locker room and a guy that uh, helps you win games. Being a freshman last year, we had some uh, top end guys like Tucker Pullman and Gage Osmus. Uh, I was just trying to find my role being a freshman. Uh, trying to earn some ice time and uh, a little shift by shift. This year uh, with those guys leaving, I felt like I needed to just step up a little bit, uh, play really strong defensively and chip in offensively as well. And, you know, we're, we're a pretty young team and just, you know, around the locker room, we're outside the room trying to be a bit of a leader. Not to say that, uh, you know, I wear a letter on my chest, but leadership comes in kind of different forms. So just doing that to my best of my abilities. Well, not a constant contributor on the score sheet, his presence and skill on the ice this season has allowed him to play all 26 games. He's definitely taking the role of um, playing that uh, stable guy, uh, always depend depending on him. But um, I think he's really filled out what he's supposed to do and definitely came through this year more than last year. Obviously he's a solid defenseman. He, um, you know, he plays good, good in the offense zone, good, uh, stable in the D zone. And, um, been good for us on the PK, and he's been um, he's been a solid player. He's good, uh, good locker room guy. He's uh, bring, uh, brings uh, good energy, uh, good positive, uh, good positive teammate. And um, yeah, he's a, a good teammate, like you said. Scoring his first career goal against Omaha earlier this season has given him an extra boost of confidence this season. I think it's just more of a relief in the sense that uh, you know. When's it going to happen? When's the first one going to happen? Now that it's gone, just kind of going out there and playing hockey. You don't have to really worry about getting that first one off. And um, I guess in that sense that it's just nice to get the first one done and move on. I think uh, I think it's coincidentally after you scored that goal, you know, you're starting to uh, you know, try a little bit more, make some plays. Uh, uh, playing obviously more assertive uh, in all different areas and, uh, and that's part of confidence. Uh, we were all very excited for Merle jumping around, but we still uh, kid about if it's his goal or not because, I mean, it was pretty controversial. But, uh, yeah, we were all just super pumped for him. Affectionately known as Moose to his teammates, Andrew Pesky has become an important member of this team. It was something I got when I was a little younger. It was minor hockey. I kind of sprouted out and was a bigger uh, frame than most most of the kids I was playing with. And one of my coaches said it. And uh, back in minor hockey, a long, long time ago, maybe when I was seven or eight. And then my buddies kept calling me in from back home, and it kind of just came with me from place to place. And my uh, my friend actually ended up getting me a license plate with it on there, so I'm kind of stuck with it now. I can't really leave it alone. Yeah. You know, I think one of those things is he's not settled on just, you know, getting by. He want, He's a guy that want, want constantly you know, tries to improve his game. He comes out in the mornings and skates on his own and tries to get better and in the weight room too. He pushes himself hard. So, again, he's a guy that uh, does all the right things on and off of the ice, including the, uh, the academic side of it. This week, the team gears up for the first of two weekends on the road as they prepare to take on Omaha. 
you know, obviously Omaha came in here and they got the split against us. Uh, you know, they won Friday, we won Saturday, and uh, you know, uh, we played the right way on Saturday, uh, getting the result we wanted and all the different little parts of the game. Uh, Omaha's a team that plays well in their rink. You know, their home and road record are vastly different, and uh, they've had a lot of success at home. And uh, being on the power play is one of the reasons why they they've had success offensively. So we're going to have to make sure that we take care of things on the special team side of it. And and again, it's the last six games of the year. Uh, we have four in the road, two at home, and we got to make sure that uh, we have some success on the road and give us ourselves a chance to win by doing all the little things in the game. Well, we know that they're really good at home. Their record shows. Um, you know, they've had some struggles on the road, but at home their power play is dynamic. Uh, they're really shut down defensively. So we know we're going to be in a tough battle, and these are the points we need. We're kind of come down the stretch with six games remaining, and uh, it's going to be really important to get these two wins. It's going to be a grind. Um, everyone needs points this time of year, guy. Like no team's going to be backing down, so those every game's going to be really, really crucial. And you can't uh, once you get past the game, you can't think about it again. You got to move on to the next game. And I mean, there's some pretty tough opponents too that we're playing, so it's going to be um, it's going to be a battle these last couple weeks. <laughs>